Hello there everyone, my name's Dave West. I hope we're all doing well. Uh, so back again now for a, a little mini tutorial on how I edit my photos and also how I can help you to learn something new today and take something away and apply this method to your own photos. Uh, so the app we're going to be using today is Google Snapseed. Again, this is a completely free to use app. It's available for Android and iOS devices and I will leave a link in the description so you can go and download this in your own time and start having a practice and seeing how it works with your own images. As per yesterday's video, I also want to try and keep things nice and simple. I'm not going to be going too crazy or complicated. We can save that for later videos. So I just want to show you a few little tweaks that you can make to your images to help them really pop and add a nice ambience to them and make them look that little bit better. So Snapseed, uh, like Lightroom, could be as easy or as complicated as you want. But I'm just going to focus on just a few areas of the app today just to show you some small adjustments and how you can tweak an image just to make it look that little bit better. So with Snapseed then, just open the application and it's quite self-explanatory. You tap anywhere to open a photo. So once you do that, it gives you access to the internal folders on your device. And I've already downloaded this image here. And for those of you who uh, follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you'll no doubt likely notice this particular one. I photograph this quite a lot. And I took this with the Google Pixel 3a. Uh, this was in January, around about half past four in the afternoon. So it's just after sunset. It's got some nice kind of autumn colors across the whole image. However, due to the large mountain, which is off to the left of the image, which we can't see, it's casting this kind of shadow across these areas of the image here. And that's what I want to concentrate on, just lifting out so we can get a bit more focus on those areas of the, areas of the image. And also, I just want to add a splash of color to these mountains in the background because you've got a nice kind of crimson, uh, orange and pink kind of look here across the mountains. I just want to enhance that just to kind of draw your eye to that part of the picture as well. So the things I'm going to concentrate on today is the tune image section, selective tool, and also rotate as well. And we'll also look at frames at the end of the video as well because it can help to add a small enhancement to your images to make them look like painting. It's purely personal preference, but I will show you at the end how it all looks. So first I want to do is rotate the image just to straighten it out a bit. And you can see the auto adjustment is a little bit wishy-washy. I'm not sure why it does that, but it kind of always gets it wrong, goes the wrong way. So what I want to do is just straighten the horizon just slightly. And to do that, if we look at this side of the mountain here, just on the right, what I'm going to do is just straighten up the image so that touches the white line you can just see it approaching and the peaks of the mountains are pretty much straight in the distance. So just one further, I think. And there we go, I'm happy with how that looks. So that's nice and straight now across the whole image. Just a small adjustment, but it's just something I noticed when I actually first looked at the picture. Okay, so next then I go into the tune image section. And all we're going to be doing in this part of the uh, tutorial is looking at the brightness, ambience, and the shadows in the image. I don't really need to touch anything else because I'm happy with the way the contrast is and everything else and the warmth of the image as well. It does look like autumn to me, uh, but the rest of it, I'm just going to concentrate on brightness, ambience, and shadows. So first of all, I just want to brighten up the image a little bit. take it to around about 40 just to kind of lift these areas of the image here so next then is ambient just going to do the same again keep your eye on the trees here again it's very very subtle if I go backwards as soon as you as soon as I make the adjustment as soon as I reduce it you can see where it's making the difference so again I'm going to go, going to, go to around about 35 happy with that and next then is shadows if we look at these trees here, it's a little bit dark in those areas again because of the shadow being cast by the mountain. But if I increase the shadow, if you just watch the darker areas of the trees. And there we go, that brings brings them a bit, bit more focus into the image. You can actually see more of them. It just lifts how they are in the overall image. If I go backwards, kind of look around the road area here. Adjustments, it just kind of brings them into a bit more prominence in the picture. So, around about 40 is all I'm going to take it and just going to leave it there. So, there's the original. 
is with the adjustments made so far. Okay, so the next thing to do then is use the selective tool. And again, this just makes very simple adjustments, just small tweaks, which really helps to lift certain areas of the image. So the first thing I want to do then is concentrate on these trees off to the left. And all I want to do is just add a little bit of saturation to those just to help them make them, make them look a little bit more what I could see them as though. So they're kind of like a nice kind of autumn-y kind of pink and red when I could see them with my own eyes. So if I just increase the saturation, you can see the change. That it's really, really subtle. But when I show you the before and after, you'll see the difference that it makes. So that's those done. You can then click on the plus symbol again and then select another part of the image. So we're going to look at these trees and again, just some saturation. and it makes those stand up just that little bit more in the image. Then I want to concentrate on this area of green here, which is just some fields in the background. Again, just adds a splash of color there. Again, I'm not, it doesn't look like it's making much of a difference, but you can see as I move the slider, it is changing that area. So I just want to go to around about 30 there. And then lastly, just going to look at these mountains in the background, just to help that those crimson, oranges and pinks really uh, just just draw your eye into the background. So if just increase the saturation. I don't want to go too mad. They're not the desert. They do kind of look like desert peaks at first glance. But you can see if I just add just that splash of colour, just adds a nice bit of drama to the way they look in the background. Just take it up to around about 20. One last thing with those is just to just increase the contrast a bit, just to give a bit of structure to those kind of shadows we're seeing from the sunset. So, pretty happy with how that looks now. So, if I just show you the before and after, that's before edits and after edits. Excuse me if you can hear the dog in the background, she's lively. And that is literally just by making just a few adjustments in the image just to help lift especially the foreground area you can see it just adds just that bit more uh, brightness and focus in that area of the image so the last thing then is frames again these are purely optional but i just think it adds a nice kind of finishing touch to the image because kind of looks like a nice picture i think you could kind of hang that on a wall um, and just enjoy that kind of scene but yeah it's just purely optional and you don't really have to use that however there's plenty of different frames that you can put on these but i just like to keep it simple so that is it that is just a few small and very simple changes you can make to your landscape photos just to help lift the actual ambience of the image and make them look that little bit more appealing if you've got any questions about anything you've just seen in this video then please do let me know down in the comments uh, the next video will all be about night photography so if you've got a phone that can take uh, those really cool night photos then i'll be uh, showing you how you can really help lift those images as well you can make some pretty good improvements to those and in the next video i'll be showing you that and also on sunday we've got an astrophotography one as well showing you how you can edit those photos to make them look even more spectacular than they already are so that's been my mini tutorial on how to edit your landscape photos don't forget, if you're new around here, then please consider subscribing so you don't miss more videos coming very, very soon. But for now, this is the end of my mini tutorial. My name is Dave West, and I will catch you guys later.